Meanwhile in Roseville Yards, a new diesel switcher was busy arranging hopper cars for the next train. The new diesel was a C415 diesel locomotive. Very well done, Nathaniel. Great job. Thank you, sir. Quinfield was approaching Roseville Yards to meet the new diesel. He wondered who it would be, but he wasn't paying attention where he was going. He bumped into the engine. Hey, look out! Oh! I'm so sorry about that. I didn't see you there. It's all right, really. But pay more attention when you're going into the yards, okay? I will. I'm looking for the new switcher that arrived today. Well, I'm the new switcher that you're looking for. Oh. Okay, then. It's very nice to meet you. Uh... Nathaniel. My name is Nathaniel. American Locomotive Company Diesel Switcher C415 Class. It's nice to meet you. I'm Clinchfield. I'm a... A Frisco T-54 locomotive built by Baldwin Locomotive Works in 1926, but then was sent to the Clinchfield Road with three other engines. Wait a minute, how do you know? I'm very smart, as you can see. I'm kind of like a nerd in many cases of the other engines when they see me, but I'm kind of like a lab rat. I'm also going to be helping out since Luke had an accident. You never heard of Luke's accident, right? No, no one told me. Well, Mr. Quentin brought me here so I can help Luke out while he's being repaired. Oh, it's very nice of you. Thanks. Besides, I'm doing you guys a favor and making sure this railroad runs smoothly. Nathaniel here came all the way from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania from the MCRR Quinchfield. I was in desperate need of another engine since Luke had his accident. So I asked the MCRR if I could use Nathaniel, and they said yes. And Nathaniel has been working in the yards, and he really is a hard worker. And he really is a nerd. He really does talk about really good description of locomotives and many other stuff. And I'm impressed of him. And I'm sure you and the other engines will make Nathaniel home when Luke gets back. And Nathaniel is going to help us out on the railroad. What do you say to that? I would like that, sir. Nathaniel really is a smart engine. Thank you, Quinchfield. And I think you're a really smart steam engine. I don't think steam engines like you are going to be scrapped. Besides, you guys are really important in history in my books. Thanks, Nathaniel. Mr. Clinton was right about Nathaniel. He was a hard worker. Nathaniel often sometimes pulls four trains and many other trains from the central line of the world in the space. Nathaniel was working hard to improve himself and to impress anyone he saw.
arrive back at the sheds later on, where he found Crystal, Aiden, and Jessica talking about what could have scared Boo to cause his accident. Alex and Pongo were at the sheds with Quinchfield, Aiden, and Jessica. I just don't understand, Alex. What could have scared Luke to run away like that? I just don't know, Clinchfield. I think I know what scared Luke. What do you mean, Nathaniel? Yeah, what is it? Is there something you already know about something, Nathaniel? In fact, I do. Clinchfield, you know about the Flathead Lake story about a monster, right? Yeah? Well... I saw the Flathead Lake Monster too. Wait, you saw it? Yes. I was traveling through the state of Montana in 1967 at the time. I was going over the bridge of Flathead Lake. And then I heard a strange roaring sound. And rising up out of the water was a huge creature. And I realized who it was. The Flathead Lake Monster. My driver told me stories about that creature. I was too terrified to speak or even blow my horn in alarm. It then looked at me and then roared again and disappeared in the water below. My driver told everything to the manager when we got to the yard and they believed us. To this day, I still know that the Flathead Lake monster is still out there in Montana Lake and Flathead Lake and I believe it still wants to make its presence known and to let everyone know that it does exist. Much like the Loch Ness Monster that Donald and Douglas told you about. You think that might be possible, Ethanol? I'm not sure, Alex. But one day, I might have to face it again or something. I don't know. But for the time being, I think we have to carry on with our work. And then we'll see what happens. Clinchfield hoped that Aiden or Ethaniel will stand up to the Flathead Lake Monster but Quenchville was worried that he might have to face the monster itself. He didn't know what to think, if he would face the monster alone or with his friends.